Hi everyone, it's Justine. It's time for a new trend video, the fashion trends video for spring summer 2018. As usual, I looked at what the runways had to offer. I summarized that into trend boards and I will show you these boards now. To make the trends a bit more wearable in real life, this time I focused on giving you different options from more daring to safer and I will precisely explain and point you at where you can turn the trend into something more wearable. The boards will be available on my website as every time for you to download if you wish it's free. Let's start with the first trend. Pencil skirt revisited. A pencil skirt is a very classic item in a ladies wardrobe but it's fun to see it being in focus again this season styled in multiple different ways. I saw so many of them that I thought okay this one has to be a board. The Fendi one is basic in cut but made more interesting by the pattern, especially since the top is striped too. In the end, overall, it's a very interesting look. The entire Fendi collection was either pencil or a line. It's a commercial decision because with those two shapes you can already match quite a few different body types, but I think it's good when brands pay attention to what real women actually look like, so well done. The Erdem version adds in texture and colors. It's a bolt skirt that would typically fit with a more muted top and that's exactly what they did. The skirt is the statement, the blouse is more discreet. At Hermes, it's a layer of lace and you need to wear something underneath, but that's a different option. The Balenciaga woman seems very masculine and dominant to me since the new creative director arrived. Here the skirt is already quite heavy, but it's paired with a frankly man-inspired shirt on top of that. The overall look is very bold. Calvin Klein also under a new creative direction. It got very sophisticated. I love this look where the top and the skirt match in color and in material. The skirt is feminine, but the top doesn't show any cleavage and has sleeves. So the overall silhouette is more powerful. Smart combination. I just think that this model needs to eat more. You just saw five pencil skirts that all start at the waist level and all end below the knee, yet the different textures, materials, colors create five completely different results. It's a very versatile piece that you can use as a statement element in your outfit or as a supporting element. Very versatile, that's why it's a classic piece. Pretty pastels. Here we're talking about a fantastic ice cream looking color palette. It actually reminds me of a Louis Vuitton campaign and collection a few years ago that showed ladies eating gelato in a macaron looking store. Very, very cute. And I think that trend, that feeling is coming again. Hermès, Chanel and Prine presented full looks, one color throughout. Notice that the Hermès model looks absolutely stunning in that color. I think her undertone is warm and this macaron yellow suits her incredibly well. That is a tip if you're warm toned. A full look in one color is not always easy to pull off though, so I added two further examples. At Victoria Beckham, they combined two tones of purple, which looks elegant, and the shoes have a color intensity that's similar to the clothes, so it's not too loud, but in fact you do have three different colors in one outfit and zero neutral. Celine combined a light pink plus a more intense yellow, plus yellow shoes but more muted, and an ultraviolet top. What pops out in all this? The top and the skirt. And why? Because they are complementary colors. Now an easier way of doing pastels in real life <laughs> is to pair them with neutrals, with pieces that are more muted colors and that you already have in your wardrobe. If you have one garment that is pastel and the others around it in your look are more muted tones, then this piece is going to be your statement and the rest is going to be supporting it so it won't be as over the top as you saw on those trend boards in full full pastel looks. By the way ultraviolet did become the color of the year 2018 by Pentone so Celine was again a visionary brand and I've done a video on that color of the year so if you're interested I will link it here in the corner as well as in the description right below this video. Short story. Usually in summer we get to see lots of skirts and dresses. Shorts are for little girls and little boys or for sports purposes. Well this year is different and I am really really happy about it. TB showed a casual chic look. When I see what looks like that I think cruise and resort. Off-white on the other hand made an office appropriate version, not worn with that top of course, but the shorts are black, tailored, super formal, very, very chic. The one by Nina Ricci is fun, 
because it's totally oversized. I think that's new and it must be very comfortable for virtually any body type. Isabelle Maron created my favorite on this board. I like this kind of waist belting thing. You can fold the shorts over at the bottom and you see this cute salmon color. Overall, the piece looks extremely classy and fresh. Vuitton presented a sporty version paired with their luxurious jacket. I'm not sure about this one. That's where the runway and the street part ways. <laughs> Unless your style is very bold, and then let me know how you would style it. Shorts are like skirts, but in much, much more practical. So I'm sure commercial brands are gonna pick up on that one. Controlled transparency. Sheer garments are always an issue in real life, let's be honest. But it depends where you place the transparency and where else you keep things opaque as they should be. Let's have a look at the board. Missoni, floor length and fully transparent. Maybe not, unless you're wearing something opaque underneath. Dolce & Gabbana gathered the fabric to add more of it and to add opacity to the places that are not meant to be on display. That's a fabric manipulation technique and I think it worked out really well here. Preen added stripes in the texture and design details. The result almost looks like a normal dress. You don't necessarily see at first sight that it's actually transparent. Then gown maker Pamela Rowland used tool but layered it until it became opaque. I think this dress is either real and absolutely beautiful. At Miu Miu, they wore a full outfit under the transparent fabric. <laughs> Problem solved. Now, the more wearable version. It doesn't have to be transparency all over. You can limit the transparency effect to some places in your outfit in little bits. <laughs> For instance, you take a regular top and you layer organza over it. It's going to create a different color. Very interesting effects. Or a very lightweight jersey tank top over a more covering other top. Uh, this way you play with layering and with different cuts. It's also fun and it looks creative. I think every time people do that, I like it. You can also add tulle to the hem of a perfectly opaque skirt as a finishing detail. It's not always immediately you going completely transparent on the streets. You can play with bits and pieces of that. Slip dress, dress up. Wearing a slip dress is basically like having almost nothing on, only the straps really touch your skin. It's extremely comfortable, especially if you're living in a hot and humid weather. If that's your case, lucky you, you're gonna get plenty of options to shop for this summer. But the slip dress this year is getting pimped up so that you can actually wear it from day to night. Dries van Noten presented a simple version, very boxy, very loose. And then he added a more dressed up version with embellishments. And here again, you see that transparency we've just discussed in the form of layering over a perfectly opaque and wearable fabric. The Ralph Lauren one looks like a basic black slip dress from the front, but then with wings on the sides. And the wings are bold and colorful. Still very comfortable and breathable though. Alexander Wang created a twisted version in satin looking fabric for the cool girl who goes straight from her bed to the party. And then we have this fully sequined, beautiful evening dress. But here again, the model is so thin that the fit is actually poor. It's a pity, in my opinion. Slip dresses are extremely comfortable and can be dressed up with heels very easily. If you are doing a capsule wardrobe, it's a very smart garment to own. Overall, I feel that this year, this summer, is much more dressed up than the previous one, and I think it's a nice direction. These are the five trends that I have identified for this year, looking at tons of runway pictures, believe me. Now, I want to hear what trend is your favorite. Is there one that you would never do? Because my job as a designer makes me look at everything from the construction and the technique perspective, while you judge all that as a wearer, which is a very different perspective. For you, it's, yep, I'd wear that, or hell no. <laughs> So I'm very interested in your opinions. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, if you found some inspiration in here. Thank you so much. And I will link below in the description my two previous trend videos. So this winter and summer last year, because in there I had mentioned feathers and fringes and those two trends are still pretty much here this whole summer. So the boards remain relevant for this year. On this channel, you'll get new fashion videos every Wednesday and Sunday. So don't forget to subscribe and I will see you very soon again. Take care. Bye.